Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On in another edition of Match Preview Battle with Jack Bryden. How are you, Jack? I'm fantastic. More importantly, how are you? Because you've been a bit under the weather, haven't you? I've been a bit under the weather, but I'm very well now. Uh, ecstatic at last night's 5-0 win over Gillingham. Mm -hmm. uh, good to see the boys doing well, the, young, the youngsters. Massively impressed with how they did. Huge games for them to come in. Um, some of them, it was their first game for the club. Yeah. So yeah, it's really. And do you think they'll play at Anfield in the next round? Um, yeah, you would hope so. I think so. I, I really think so. To. I remember maybe eight, nine years ago when uh, we played against Woolwich in the League Cup. We played pretty much our first team. They played their kids and they turned us over. Now maybe we can go to Anfield and do that to Liverpool. Play the kids. No pressure. Make it happen. Anyway, more importantly, this is of course match preview battle. As I mentioned before, I have to go through the results of last week's match preview battle. Jack, you with all your predictions got seven. Points. I'm getting worse. Aren't well, I? I think neither of us kind of predicted that Mauricio would make as many changes to the team as he mm. did. Uh, however, I did predict a little better than you because I got eight points. It's always really close, though. It's isn't it? very close. So the league table is, uh, I can tell you that neither of us got any results right from any of the other games. That's so there you go. Uh, league table is as follows uh, Jack is in second place, played five, won two, drawn zero, lost three plus 53 goal difference, six points. And I am top with played five, won three, drawn none, lost two, plus 54 goal difference, nine points. Very close. Let's move it straight on to this week's. Uh, well done for saving your card there, tried to drop it. Let's ask for your team lineup for the Middlesbrough game. Of course, it's Middlesbrough versus Spurs at the Riverside Stadium. It's getting harder and harder to select an 11, isn't it? Because everyone's coming, whoever's coming in is playing really well. And then you've got players that are on the bench who, I'll just shut up and get on with it. Uh, so in goal, got to have Hugo Lloris. Yep. At the back, I've gone for Walker, Toby, Jan, and I think Rose has been training midweek, so he's going to come back okay. in. Um, then in the two in front of the, the back four, I'm going to go for Dyer and Dembele. Mm -hmm. And then the three behind, this is where it gets tricky, isn't it? Uh, just to make things interesting, I'm going to go for... Hold on, hold on. This isn't about making things interesting, it's about you trying to win. So I don't want you to come up with little excuses like, oh, I yeah, tried to make it interesting. Just do, Who do you think is going is to get picked by Poch? Son, Ali Ericsson. So Lamella mm. dropped. Well, not dropped, That's but again, hard, but not, uh, Lamella again not starting yeah, well, uh, the, after last week. Yeah, but then you can't not start Son after how he's been doing. And Lamella played brilliantly in the anyway, league. Anyway, we'll didn't see, he? we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And then obviously Janssen up top. Okay, so Lamella, uh, uh, so you've gone Son, Ali Ericsson, Janssen. Yeah. Uh, I just want to bring up, because I remember from last week, um, you, dropped, uh, mm. you dropped rested Harry Kane last week, didn't you? And um, and then we had an argument, didn't we, in the office or, or on text, wasn't it? Not an argument, but like you were saying, he needs a rest. And then he scored the winner. And got injured. And got injured. So now do you regret almost putting the jinx on him, the, the crux? You can't, no, th I don't agree there's any sort of jinx. that. <laughs> if we'd rested him, he wouldn't be injured. So. Here's my team. Like, yeah, but we wouldn't have won that game either, maybe. Get on with that. Okay, here's my lineup. Very similar. Larice Walker, Toby, Jan, Danny Rose, same as you. Eric Dyer, Musa Dembele, same as you. And I've gone Ericsson, Ali, Lamella, Janssen. So the only difference is I've got Lamella in, you've mm. got Sonny in. What do you think in the comments box below? Because uh, let us know in the comments box. Because actually, you know, Sonny scored two against Stoke. He was man of the match against Sunderland. Fantastic. Gives us that great option going to the byline, which no one else does. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Anyway, I've picked my team. I'm sticking to it. Score prediction. I'll start first. I think it's going to be Middlesbrough one, Tottenham Hotspur three. I think uh, they will score one. But I think, and maybe it'll be in the grey though, that's who I'm going for. But uh, I think we will score three as they come at us. We'll, we'll get, maybe mm. it'll get, go 2 1 to us and then they'll come at us and they'll leave gaps. Um, so I've gone 3 1 Spurs, uh, Negredo for them. And for us, I'm going as follows Vincent Janssen, Christian Eriksen, mm -hmm. and Deli Ali. Ooh. What about you? Okay, well. We've got the best defensive record in the league at the moment, so I as and, per and Borough aren't really scoring that many goals so far this season. So I'm going to go Borough nil, Tottenham Hotspur two. That'd be lovely, wouldn't and it? And my scorers are going to be similar to you. I've got Deli Ali and Vincent Janssen. Yeah, purely because I think Janssen playing in that position is great at holding the ball up, mm. and people that are sort of making those runs forwards, i.e. Ali, who loves doing that. Mm -hmm. 
Um, you saw, was it Lamella's goal? One of his goals last night mm -hmm. against Gillingham was a layoff from yep. Janssen. Yep. I think we're going to get, with Janssen now, I think we could potentially get plenty of goals like that. So I'm going to go Ali and Janssen as goal scorers. Okay, great. Uh, this leads it on nicely to FanDuel, of course. FanDuel, if you haven't started playing yet, is a brilliant fantasy football game where you can play every week, you can change your team every week. Just put a couple of quid in, you can play one pound or you can put as much as you want in, but you have chances to win big cash prizes. And the game we recommend on fanduel.co.uk this week is the fan favourite £6,000 pot. That means you could put a pound in and win six grand if you pick the best team this week. We have put our team into it this week. As ever, we only pick players who either play for Spurs or used to play for Spurs. And it's done pretty well for us so far. I mean, last week well. was fantastic. Unfortunately, I didn't have Chadley in my team last week. Big mistake, but I've rectified that. Uh, Julio Gomez in goal, Carl Walker, Toby Alderweireld, Charlie Daniels and Adam Smith from Bournemouth there. Uh, Eric Lamella, Deli Ali, Andros Townsend, Etienne Capu, who's doing brilliantly. Average of about 35 points on FanDuel each week. Nasser Chadley comes in and Jermaine the game Defoe mm -hmm. up front. That's the one we think is going to win it for us this week, the six grand. Let us know in the comments box below what FanDuel team you've picked, how much money you've put into it. Don't forget you have to be 18 years old or over. And also send us screen grabs of, uh, of how you do in the league table at the end of the weekend. Okay, that also, all the, dis all the information for that is in the description box below. Check that out. Uh, now, for the final bit of match preview battle, of course, we predict the other results of the teams around us in the Premier League. Premier League, after five matches, started to take shape. We're in third place. Mm -hmm. Everton have had a great start. Somewhat surprising, but I think still shows that point we got a good son on the first day will, will prove to be a good point. Mm. Um, and uh, obviously Man City doing really well. So the results uh, we have to predict, the fixtures we have to predict this week are Man United, Leicester, Bournemouth, Everton, Liverpool, Hull, Swansea, Man City, and Arsenal, Chelsea in the 5.30 on Saturday. What are your predictions? So, uh, I started off the season thinking United do quite well, but they're really in a bit of a quagmire they're in a at the funk. moment, aren't they? They're in a funk. Ooh and so, also, after their Northampton win last night, Mourinho came out and did something that he would never used to do before, you know, before the Chelsea um, debacle. Uh, and he started having a go at the pundits who were saying that, you know, he was saying, oh, they've said my career's over. They're all Einsteins and stuff. It's like he, he, he shouldn't take it so personally. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think that they might lose this one. So I'm going to go for 2-1 Leicester. It does seem like a game that would suit Leicester, yeah. Yeah, massively. Uh, Everton, or well, Bournemouth, Everton. They're playing really well at the moment, Everton, aren't they? Mm. And Bournemouth, you know, aren't doing their best. So I think Everton are going to beat Bar uh, Bournemouth 2-0. Mm, okay. Then Liverpool, I am going to go out there and say they'll beat Hull 3-1. Mm -hmm. Swansea, again, City, they're, they're flying high at the moment. I'm going to think they're going to beat Swansea 3-0. Mm -hmm. And in the London derby, Arsenal, Chelsea, I am going to go for a 1-0 win to Chelsea. Oh, yes, that would be nice. Uh, OK, not dissimilar for me. I've gone for exactly the same result at Old Trafford. Man United 1, Leicester 2. I've gone Bournemouth 2, Everton 2. Everton have had a great start, but I think... Um, I think Bournemouth at home, knowing they need a good result. There was a period at the beginning of last season they had a bad start and then they got a few good results on the spin. I think they beat United there and someone else and um, I think they could get a result. So I've gone 2-2. Liverpool, I've gone Liverpool 3, Hull 0, despite the fact I'm hoping that Hull will part the bus and Liverpool won't find a way behind, but, uh, like behind their back four. But I fear with Sadio Mane in the form he's in and obviously Firmino and Coutinho, they will be able to prize open Hull's back four, including Jake Livermore. Um, although he's had a good start to the season. I've gone Swansea 1, Man City 2, so a bit tighter than you've gone. But um, let's see about that one. And then I've gone also for Chelsea win. Arsenal 1, Chelsea 2, uh, which mm. I, you know, I don't like either of them, but I'd be happy with that. Frankly, uh, guys, most importantly, let us know what your predictions are in the comments box below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Jack, thank you so much for, for allowing me to be top of the league in match preview battle. And um, we will let you know next week how we did, as long as you let us know how you did. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel again and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. Spurs, Spurs. Spurs. Hello and welcome to the match preview for our League Cup match against Gillingham. I'm here with my pal Greg Stobart from Squawker. How are you doing, boy? I'm very good. Good, good. Right, now...